Hello, everyone. Risk Mr. Thrive and Survive, April 6, 2020. I am very excited to bring this to you. Many of you have probably seen this if you have uh, subscribed to Mike Ball's channel. I want to go through and mention some things uh, that aren't directly mentioned. Uh, he plays music in the background uh, for this video. I'm just going to let it play through here. And uh, as you'll see, the link is in the description for this entire, uh, I think it's a minute, minute and a half video. Mike Ball is a good friend of mine. We do observations together. And just to let you know, for the naysayers, we're going to be going out there and filming ourselves, filming ourselves do this. Because the other side is highly upset already with this. And that's a good sign, isn't it? Uh, isn't it amazing how we are the ones actually doing the science? We're the ones doing the observation. And yet we're the ones told that we are anti-science. Uh, we're ignorant. We don't know anything. And just, just listen to just three of the things that are wrong with the heliocentric model that can be shown just by this one observation. Now, to set this up, as Mike says here in the title, one ball, one light source. It's the same light source for both the moon and anything else. And the observations that we see should match 100% what we see with the moon and any large ball we see on the Earth should match. This right here is a Doppler radar unit. And I have a much better photograph of this that I need to dig out and show you guys that will show one of the things that absolutely proves that the light uh, of the moon is its own light. It is not reflected light. And we're going to see that. And that's not pointed out directly in this video. Uh, but Mike, I think, has introduced uh, what I call the, uh, the lunar black swan or the moon's black swan event. And uh, there's the, the swan poking a hole in the NASA model of what we should see. So this is the Doppler radar that he took. Uh, we actually stood right next to this. This is what we were going to use in one of our uh, actual two scale, one, one ninety second millionth uh, scale of the sun and moon and the angles. But let me pause it right there. There you see, there's the moon. And the first thing I noticed, which according to Mike is not the biggest deal, is that the angles don't match. And the other side freaked out and said, yeah, nice try, Mike. What you did was you uh, tilted the camera so that the angles didn't match. As you can see here, and he will blow it up. They absolutely do not match. And when you take this and slow it down, he actually zooms in and zooms out. Uh, if there's any tilt whatsoever, it's actually tilted towards the ball side of the equation here. But that, again, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because we're going to go out there and we're going to film ourselves filming this. And he's going to have it on a tripod. So there is going to be no tilting. And uh, you will know 100% that what you see on the camera lens is actually what we recorded. Again, these two should match. Even this right here should tell you, unless you're on a very small device looking at this, they absolutely do not match. And let me just run it through a little bit here, and then we're going to look at the differences. So there's the moon during the day, all right, taking the exact same time. Uh, you can see the angles are definitely different. And what Mike likes to point out is the amount of the ball that's covered is different. I would have never actually even thought about that, but that's true. And then you have people, well, if you're on the right angle, it would be the same. Uh, I don't think so, but again, we will cover that. Mike actually went out later and went to different angles, and uh, it was the exact same thing. Look at the angle here. Look at the angle here. But here's something I want to point out. Let me get to it here. Uh, so what he's done is he's applied that angle over here. <laughs> Not quite a match. And again... Uh, yes, we uh, we don't have the um, necessary controls yet uh, to prove this, but we will, folks. And this is going to absolutely, as he says here, nonsense. It's going to absolutely knock out the heliocentric, it's lit up by the sun model. It's close. It's close to being what the sun would be lighting up, but not quite. No cigar. So let me get to where, and he zooms out here, and you can see... I can get it here, guys. Let me sh shorten up my little presentation here so I can do this for you. He zooms out, and if you, if anything, he's tilted slightly to where he makes the ball uh, a little um, too far 
uh, straight up and down. So it's the opposite of what they need on their side. But here's what I want to point out. A third problem. You've got the angle. You've got the amount of the ball that's covered. And then here is the ultimate, no doubt about it, in your face proof that the moon is self illuminated it is not reflecting sunlight and it is not a ball and how can we tell that very simply look at the left side here do you see the hot spot and as you go away from the hot spot it tapers off here's a very good taper right here here's another good taper another excellent taper till you get to dark correct so let me kind of show that visually right here the red inner circle, and I know this isn't perfect because uh, I'm not uh, high enough on the ball at this time. We will have, or I do have a photograph of this when the, uh, uh, the sun was actually quite low in the sky. So it was more directly on like this where my cursor is right here. And once I dig that photograph up, you'll see it very obviously. So you've got the brightest spot in the red in the red. And again, this could be moved up a little bit. I, you know, my artwork can't go 3D, uh, not with my skill. Uh, and then you have this, which isn't quite as, as, as light. And then you have the first blue line, and that demarks where you really start to get a difference. Can you see the difference between in between this blue, these two blue lines and the blue and the orange line here? Significant difference. And then you see the significant difference here. And then if I put another line, this would be actually the dark part. Now, why isn't it totally dark? Because we have the Earth, and it's giving you some uh, reflected back light uh, from everything around it. So this is what you see everywhere when you have a 3D light source or a ball that has reflected light. Whereas the moon, you don't have that whatsoever. Now, I'm adding this in post-production. I really want to ask the question from people on the other side. What is it you don't get about this observation? Always, there is no exception. If you have a ball that is reflecting light from a light source, you always get this diminished brightness as you get away from the center of where the light source is. We do not have that with the moon at all. None of it. All around the edges of the moon, it should be getting darker and darker. We don't get that. How can you explain that? How can you hold on to NASA telling you that it is a ball that is reflecting sunlight when it goes against 100% of the observations we have of any object whatsoever that is a 3D ball reflecting light? I'd really like to hear that answer. So let's take a look at it side by side. Where is the hot spot? Where does it taper off? Uh, you might say, well, it's a full moon, Rich. It's not going to taper off. Yes, it would taper off around the edges. Even the edges up here, you can see it's tapering off because it's not facing you. The light is not directly coming towards you. We see no evidence of that whatsoever on the moon. And right in the very middle here, we should have the hot spot. And we don't. So this is really the black swan event of the moon. It really is. And we're going to go out there and we're going to do the observations so everybody can see there's no cheating involved. You know, when you have people like Soundly go out there and fake all these different things, and the other side is willing to fake all these different things, then you have issues with the other side because they would do it, so they think you do it. We are we are beyond honest. We we If we cheat at all, it's towards... Uh, the ball, always. We always cheat ourselves out of that. So look for a lot more on this. Subscribe to Mike's channel because he will be the first one to have these observations as we do it. We're going to get together, go out and do this. We have to wait to the next time the moon is in the exact same phase, so about 30 days from now, and we're going to go out and do this. It is the black swan of the moon. Praise God for all the things you reveal to us, Lord. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.